we brought you a News 8 exclusive of what could be the world's largest watermelon being made in Muscatine. And today, it all came to fruition. What you're looking at right here is a time lapse as the massive melon was taken by train down to Muscatine's riverfront. But that's not the only cool shot we got. Take a look. On an ordinary Wednesday with an ordinary train, it's this very extraordinary cargo that's turning heads. Meet Muscatine's Mammoth Melon. We're the Pearl City and now Melon City also. <laughs> A new title to go with the city's newest mascot. One of the original ideas was to have a big sign somewhere on the riverfront saying, welcome to Muscatine or Muscatine something. Well, this accomplishes that. It was only four months ago that Mayor Brad Bark dreamt up the idea of celebrating the area's watermelon production. And now, all that hard work has come to fruition. The massive metal watermelon was built locally at Silverhawk Fabrication. And thanks to donations from 19 different entities, it didn't cost taxpayers a dime. It's been wonderful teamwork. To get to its final fruit stand, the watermelon took about a five mile train ride to the Mississippi River, almost exactly like the Muscatine melons of the early 1900s. So it was kind of like revisiting history all the way back to Muscatine. As it trundled down the tracks, watermelon watchers dotted each intersection. Very interesting, very interesting. While there still needs to be an official count, this exceedingly large watermelon could be the biggest in the world. It's 40 feet long, 26 feet tall, and 16,000 pounds. That's 800 times heavier than your average Muscatine melon. It is so big. And as it finally reached Riverside Park, this crowd was anything but melancholy. I feel pride for Muscatine. Instead of the big bean in Chicago, we have the big watermelon. What started as a what if now sits as a proud beacon along the Mississippi the fruit of more than a century of labor growing Muscatine melons. It's a good, good thing for Muscatine for the area. And while it might seem like low hanging fruit, we'd call that one in a melon. In Muscatine, hashtag Melon City. Shelby Kluver, WQAD News 8. Now it took several hours to get this watermelon installed, but this right here is what it looked like just after 1 p.m. when it was finally put in place.